Hello everyone, welcome back to Stillingshire Homestead. So our surveyor got here, and uh, <laughs> you can see his tire tracks. He went up, he's uh, starting to mark the property now. It's, uh, I don't know, about 8.30 this morning. It's pretty cold. Thankfully my ATV started. I'm gonna follow him up there and uh, help him put in some of the wood lathe. I grabbed a hammer of my own. I don't know if he'll, I'll need that though, but he's got his stuff. So we'll head up there. We'll uh, get started and hopefully I'll walk through the lines with you guys as we go through the day. Um, but it's kind of exciting to get everything marked out and know exactly what we own and what we don't. So we'll see you back here in a bit. All right. Well, our surveyor is going down there. He's got his equipment set up here. And uh, <laughs> it looks like uh, my neighbor to the south already has some things in, but we're going to go by what my surveyor says. <laughs> He's got all my stakes in there. He uh, he didn't know where my my spot to get through the woods was, so he just plowed right through all the blackberries. It's kind of funny. So he's putting in his bass lines. He's going down on that end. We're on the, the third field back here. And uh, when he comes back, he said he's going to turn his uh, sights and start marking this south side here, which will be great. So we're going to mark it all and do everything in... Uh, orange flag so we know it's ours and uh we'll get to it it'll be kind of fun got my atv out here thankfully it started up it was running pretty nice and uh filled it up with gas this morning that way we had enough so yeah <laughs> i like how he's got <laughs> you see that robot number seven so, and you see that it turned automatically. It was facing the other way. That's kind of cool. So if I see some more cool insights or some things that surveyors do, I'll let you know. But uh, mostly today it's just going through, putting stakes in, and getting everything squared away around the whole property. So we'll see you back. All right, we're way back in here. We're behind the third field and our corners over there and we're working toward the north and lo and behold the line was here the whole time and I just never saw it it's hard to get back here with all the blackberries oh, yeah. anyway we'll see you back in a bit so I'm still at the same spot if you look I know it's kind of hard to see right now, but if you look at the weathering on this T-post that has been there for ages, it's like uh, it's been there since 50, 60 years ago or more with how weathered that is. You can see that that used to be white on the top. It's like a yellow now, just from how long it's been here. And that runs, these lines run all the way down and we're marking just just on this side of it, just a little bit, by about three, four feet. So, whenever these were put in, I'm sure before GPS was a thing, um, <laughs> they were pretty damn close on where they put their lines. That's just incredible. This is the, uh, the east side of our property, and uh, <laughs> this is the furthest back from the road, and I'm, I'm just amazed at how close these are to where the actual line is. And we got our post kind of sitting there because it's going to go pretty close to these, but just amazing. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll get through more of these here and I'll I'll certainly keep filming this for you guys. My hope is to maybe even get some, some stuff on the GoPro today. We haven't been able to use that lately because it's not uh, holding charge very well when it's outside. I've got about 10 15 minutes of recording and the battery starts really draining so we'll see what i can get but uh, the phone certainly works we'll see you back in a bit well still on the east side you can see our surveyor driving in the third field he's getting his equipment set up at the next spot and uh you can see We've got some of ours marked. If I zoom in here, you can see our orange mark right there. 
and we're going through, I don't know, this is probably about every 75-ish feet. It's enough that you can for sure see one from one to the other. And if you had to, you could run a string and put in more if you needed to. Like I was showing you earlier though, here's that barbed wire again. And it's running right through some of the trees even. And since the trees have grown around it, you know that that's a stable point of reference. And that runs, runs right here. And you can see where that goes. That line is right here. It looks like a shadow, but that runs all the way. So we'll keep doing the east side. Once the east side's done, it's pretty much easy sailing. We can move the ATVs and stuff and do the rest of it. Anyway, we'll be back. We're back. So I told my surveyor this. You guys ever seen this? Have you ever seen the show Man Tracker? I feel like I am the prey in Man Tracker. Where as uh, the surveyor is walking through, setting up his, uh, his surveying unit, that uh, I'm kind of hiding out in the bush, waiting for him to, to come back to my spot. We got all the stakes sitting here and we're putting them in. You can see we're going down the row for each one. We're probably about, I don't know, about 10 to 12 in right now. We're almost done with the east side here. We're actually facing, this is south this way. And if we turn to this side, we're almost at the point, you can kind of see it. We're almost out, we're almost to my uncle to the north. We're almost at his field here. So, but it's kind of fun <laughs> watching him go back and forth and like thinking about huddling down so he can't find me. <laughs> it's like a big game of chase. Anyway, we'll be back. Welcome back everyone. So we just finished putting in one way down there. You can see that one. Right there and it's a little woody in here but after you get done with that you can see that there's a rock wall that starts and from what I understand if you look at this rock wall it's a good three feet up um, this is actually a rock wall that was built by I think my side of the family um, in order to keep the cows on this side for pasture so, because <laughs> you can see it goes all the way down. That's kind of interesting. And the surveyor left his mark here. The corner of the property is right here on this rock. And so, because it's on the rock wall, we're going to have to find out a way to put an iron bar through there so we can note the corner. But uh, very interesting to see that. So we'll figure out how to get that in there in a little bit. So welcome back everybody, we're going down, pulling out all the rocks here, seeing if we can get the, uh, you gotta put a metal piece of rebar in to mark the corner here. And like I told you guys, this is rock wall that's up a good two and a half, almost three feet here. And you can see the rebar is in there too. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I don't think it goes down further than that, though. I'm pretty sure that stays on the top. Don't quote me. <laughs> we'll find out. I mean, if it's anything like the other one that's up in the front part of my property, that's all the further it goes. Okay. There shouldn't be much more underneath that. need rocks for a project, I don't know where to come. <laughs> they look like uh, granite too. Uh -huh. Heavy stuff. You get a lot of uh, blue rock out here. Like similar to slate almost. Okay. Well, just that. Um, it's 
kind of like that hill that goes north and south. Yeah, it's a ridge that's on that first first set of woods. Anything west of that, pretty sandy. Yes. Once you get to it, and anything east to it, just rocks. Yeah, down down in that front field, you can pound a post in pretty much wherever you want, <laughs> but uh, up here, it's a pain. Yeah, it looks. They're getting there now. So then that prism finds the the marker out there, and then you lock that in. Very cool. So unfortunately, the tree is in the way of my line of sight. Okay. So I have to set up probably somewhere in here real quick to put this corner in. Sure. It's kind of a guess when I set up there. It's like, well, yeah. I hope we can see it, but sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. All right. Well, we'll see you back here in a bit, you guys. We shall see. Looks like it's going down from where I am. Yeah, nice. Good. Excellent. Now we got her in. But as you pound it, it'll come back to where it's supposed to be. Avalanche. <laughs> Which, I mean, shouldn't be the worst thing. There we go. Corner in. So then we match that thing up. Cool. Alright, hello everyone and welcome back. We are, we've got about, I want to say, three, maybe four posts to finish up the north side here. You can see the road from here, if I zoom in a little bit, it's sitting right there. And uh, we came up the hill. Uh, you might be able, you might not be able, to see the orange of blown in the breeze. It's right there. And so, uh, we're gonna put another one here, and uh, we found a fence again. That's another one with barbed wire. You can see the post there. And the barbed wire runs through, you can see that in the snow. So, again, we're inside of that barbed wire on this one by about a foot. In some cases, like the one that we just did, you can see that really good, that top of that white piece there. That one is actually pushing into this wire so we're almost through the other side of the woods here probably two or three more drops or spikes if i i don't know what we're gonna what we're calling them but two or three more t posts spikes and then we'll be through and done with the north side marking anyway and then it'll be on to the south side and we'll take all those in and we'll mark them and hopefully our surveyor steve he said we'd be done by hopefully before daylight goes down. He should get her get all the points in today, but he said he's gonna have to maybe come back later or work a little bit later tonight after the sun goes down to get some more landmarks marked just so we have them. So it's nice having a guy just help you do all this stuff. It's awesome. So, well, we'll get back to you when we hit the south side. See you in a bit. Our steak. The other stake. All the ones that we have are marked in orange. 
So I want to put one more in between here. That way we have a 100% sure. And we'll uh, have those marked all set. But this is the south side now, so. All right, hello everyone, welcome back. We are on the south side now. The north side is up that way and you can kinda, from where I'm standing, see the tree house through the trees. Or not the tree house, the deer stand. We're getting everything in. Ours are tied with orange. And uh, how beautiful does that look? I got the line all the way down. So those lines, they're fairly close. Even the pink ones that are on this side, they're, they're fairly close. So we're leaving them right there. Now we've got ours and the neighbor's got his. And that's all right. Now we know for sure where it is and where to go and where not to go. So, right? All right, we'll be back. And welcome back everyone. We are done putting in all of our stakes. You can see ours down there with the orange. Ours is the one on the right. Well, there's a couple on the right, aren't there? But we've got all of ours marked in orange. We're all done. We are tired. What time is it? four o'clock right now so I was out there with our surveyor guy from what about 8 15 to four o'clock helping him pound posts helping him put in stuff Hashtag not huh Hashtag not, spawn. not sponsored <laughs> old old orchard orange juice or a uh, berry blend yeah. and our homemade apple chips and a pizza Sorry. Hashtag, sponsored. hashtag sponsored still in our apple chips so we're all done. He's uh, taking some other points, the rock wall that was in the back. And then uh, hopefully we'll be able to show you guys in one of the next videos coming up the the video, a, a, pla a plat survey is what he said it was. Yeah, something. something like that. And it shows all the points that we put in and where they are. So that'll be nice, but it's all done. Now there's no question as to what's ours and what's not. And uh, that's all we got for today. So. As the sun is setting, that's right about there in the sky, you will uh, we'll say goodbye to everybody, and uh, we wish you an awesome day. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Isaac and Maddie, and our surveyor, wherever he is, from Sterlingshire Homestead. Peace out.